Good day. My name is Nicholas Kuhn. And today I will be discussing on students' cellular phones, school. Do they go together? Well, who doesn't have a cellular phone these days? The amazing thing about cellular phones is that they're no longer recording or texting. That was in olden days. They have evolved into impeccable multitude wonders. Today, cellular phones are the cutting edge of technology, right at your fingertips. With this in mind, should students be allowed to carry cellular phones to school? Well, as for me, I believe they should. They would be required to use them from me. Cellular phone does not only allow students to keep in contact with family members, friends, and just for our safety precaution. It allows them to be more responsible towards technology and also it can be a great tool for learning. Cellular phone make it possible for students to stay in touch with family, friends, and so on. Students can call home and ask for item they leave, school money they leave, or just an homework that they leave and should be assigned today. Or for safety precaution, what if something happens and they need to phone 911? You can't phone 911 without a phone. See? Or what if there was a student absent from school and the teacher gave a massive assignment to be done? They will know. They, they are not there due to illness or some means of not being able to reach the school. The student can use that cell phone to either send a picture, email, or text them the assignment that is to be done. So you see, cell phone coming. Very, very, very useful tool. Or just for the responsible ability of this, where people come in with this agreement that cell phone should, should be in school because students will use it irresponsibly. But giving students the opportunity to use a cell phone in school, you show them that you, you are treating them as young adults and they can learn how to be responsible with technology. Teacher now, teachers nowadays need to be. A little bit pleasant and understanding the students. They're young, they, will, they, are, they are still learning and it will take time for them. So just be patient. Then, cell phones are at the point in technology you know, where it's like a computer that can call somebody. Let that sink in. Okay, with that in mind, a, com a cell phone has fast, 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 fast help towards learning where a student in a math class may have problems with a math problem, YouTube, and there's a lot of lectures on there that can help them to understand the problem. Same goes for physics. All the physics laws are on the internet. A student can use a cell phone if they don't have the hard copy books, if their parents couldn't afford it, can go on the internet. And look up all the laws of physics. So, cell phones are a good tool, wouldn't you say? So, as you can see, cell phones can be easily supplemented within the classroom, and cell phones are quickly and easily way to implement within the classroom. So, for people who oppose the use of cell phones in the classroom because of its disruption and its distraction. That cell phones can cause, but we must accept the fact that we live in a world of technology. We can't, just can't, go throughout that. And the cell phones are an important and very useful part of this world. We will miss out if we fail to take advantage of this. So, for cell phones, its advancement is immaculate. All in all, cell phones improve the communication between the students. Cell phone is a very useful tool in helping students get a feel of responsibility when it comes down to technology. And all in all, it is wonderful to use within the learning process of a student. Teachers and administrations must find a way to incorporate this excellent multi-tool in our schools. As you learn today, it is really not that difficult 
but just let us be the move of this technological world we live in. Thank you.